Today, we're going to talk about Southeast Palm Bay. If you're new here, my name's Alexandra Shoup and I'm a local realtor down on Florida's Space Coast. I have people calling me every day and I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions about what it might be like to live here in Palm Bay, Florida, go ahead and give me a call, send me an email or shoot me a text message. I've got your answers and I would love to chat with you. And if you wanna keep seeing videos like this, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video. All right, let's get into it. Palm Bay, the largest city in Brevard County, is split into quadrants. Today, we're going to talk about the southeastern quadrant, which is south of Malabar Road and east of Minton Road and DeGroote Road. So what is there to do in southeast Palm Bay? Most notably, you have the Palm Bay Aquatic Center. The Aquatic Center has a large pool, a splash pad, a diving board, and a water slide. It's really affordable too. It costs $4 per person, $1.50 for veterans. For seniors 55 and up, it's $2. And they have both multi-visit passes and season passes. On a rainy day, you can visit the Franklin T. DeGroot Public Library. Or if it's nice out and you wanna spend a little bit of time outdoors, you can head to one of the few local parks in the area. Now, this isn't something to do in the area, but it's certainly worth noting. Palm Bay City Hall is located in the southeastern quadrant. Strangely, it has a Southwest Palm Bay address on Google, but if you go to the city's website, you can see that it is in fact located in Southeast Palm Bay. You can also see this just by checking a map. In terms of grocery shopping, you have a Winn-Dixie, two Publixes, and an additional one being built, and you have access to a Super Walmart. If I had to pick between the two existing Publixes, I would go to the one in Bayside Lakes because it's just a little bit nicer. The closest Super Walmart is on Malabar Road, and it happens to be our favorite Walmart in the area because it typically has everything that we need. For other shopping, you have Home Depot and Lowe's right in the Southeast Quadrant. These are located right near one of the Publixes and the Super Walmart. If you're looking to go shopping at stores like Kohl's, Target, Home Goods, or other similar stores, you'll need to drive up to Hammock Landing. For restaurants, you have both Texas Roadhouse and Summer Sunshine Cafe just on the other side of Malabar Road. These are actually in the northeastern quadrant because anything north of Malabar Road on that side is in the northeastern quadrant, but they're going to be some of the closest ones for those people that live in the northern part of southeastern Palm Bay. These two restaurants have some pretty good reviews. And further south, you have the Thai Bayside restaurant in Bayside Lakes, which also has great reviews. When it comes to fast food in the area, Josh has had way too many poor experiences and food poisonings at the restaurants on Malabar Road to be able to recommend any of them. Instead, he would recommend going to the fast food restaurants on Palm Bay Road. The main roads you'll use to get around are Minton and DeGroote, Jupiter Boulevard, Elderon, Emerson, San Filippo, and Babcock. If you're house hunting, keep these roads in mind if you do not want to live on a busy street. Homes on these streets tend to be a little bit more affordable to comparable similar homes that are not on busy roads. This is why it's important to check out Google Earth when you're home hunting. Babcock and Minton are the main two roads that you'll be using to travel north. And these can get pretty backed up during rush hour, whether you're traveling north to go to work or south to come home. I say this because most people that live in Palm Bay travel up north to go to work. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're coming from a larger city, the traffic here is nothing in comparison. But if you've lived in the Palm Bay area for a while, the traffic has definitely worsened over the years. If you need to get on the interstate, you have two options. If you live in the more northern part of the southeastern quadrant, you'll probably use this on-ramp. And if you live in the more southern portion, you'll probably use the St. John's Heritage Parkway ramp. Homes in Southeast Palm Bay start in the low 200,000s and go up into the millions. There's quite a bit of new construction here, both in HOAs and non-HOA areas. Bayside Lakes, Waterstone, and Cypress Bay West are the major communities in the area that have HOAs. Homes in Southeast Palm Bay started being built in the early 1970s, just before 1975. Here, you can see how home building has spread over the years and where you might be able to find older homes versus newer homes. Most of the homes in HOA communities are on city water and sewer, but if you're in a non-HOA, that's a little bit of a different story. If you live along a busier road, you might have access to city water, 
but a lot of the homes in Southeast Palm Bay are on well and septic. In terms of crime, due to fair housing laws, I'm very limited in what I can share. I highly recommend checking out a website called crimegrade.org. Here is a screenshot of crimegrade.org's map that they have, and I've outlined Southeast Palm Bay for you. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.